So I decided to make this video um, explaining what the render mod is. Um, because I get so many questions of people asking what it is and how they can get it and you know what even is rendering and stuff like that so I thought it'd just be easier to make a video explaining what it is uh, that I can direct people to and you know then everyone's got sort of a resource in one place um, with correct information um, I've cleared this with Hemwell 8 as well and he was more than happy for me to make it so uh, let's get into it. Um, so the render mod is very similar to replay um, in regards to the settings in game. Um, you still have the uh, normal smooth motion first person and third person options. Um, the main difference is uh, how uh, the video file is made um, because when you're using replay normally you would use the record option in the quest and just sit and physically watch the replay video. Um, with render, once you click on, uh, you know, to watch the replay, it will then start rendering um, the video file um, and the screen will be blank. So you, you can take the headset off, set it down on the desk um, and just let it render video file um, so rendering is instead of recording what what it does is it builds the video frame by frame which means we can set much higher graphical settings because there's no sort of impact on performance because it's not having to play like 60 frames per second um, it's doing it one frame then one frame then one frame so you can set a 4K resolution, you can max out your Ike tweak settings, have bloom and uh, you know smoke uh, and everything. Uh, you can have a very high bitrate, um, you can even enable the, um, if you've seen my previous video, um, the distortion walls, the rail distortion walls and the shockwave effect and also high um, high resolution reflections in the platform that you stand on and the sort of track underneath the blocks um, so yeah you can max out all that and the field of view as well like if you check my latest renders um, except for the third person one I use 120 field of view which just wouldn't be possible without the render mod um, it also records um, the audio file separately um, uh, and it creates a WAV file so it's much higher quality audio than the regular recordings um, so what it does is as well because you record the audio and the, the render separately um, you will have to have some knowledge this is mainly for people who are thinking of getting the early access build because um, if you sign up on Patreon you can get early access but I just wanted to sort of clarify some things um, and just inform people that it's pretty difficult to use at the moment it's not just like oh hey here's a render cool and um, there is a lot of sort of stuff you need to do on a PC afterwards to get the finished product um, so yeah you will need um you will need a pc or um, a computer um, and because you have to merge the audio and the video file and you also need to be able to process the raw video file um, that being said all this information um if you do sign up to patron um you will get access to Hemwell's um, private Discord and there's loads of people over there that can help you through this process um, they all use FFmpeg I personally use Handbrake I do things a little bit differently because I'm weird I don't know FFmpeg is a very steep learning curve I've never used it before and the way I do it for me works easier using Handbrake um, so yeah um, I'll just go over some of the some of the main settings you can sort of change um, 
we've got field of view obviously so I don't even know what the default field of view is but it's it's pretty narrow on the um, quest beat server uh, so yeah uh, you can set it to 90 which I think most people if you're watching people's renders uh, on YouTube they've got it set to 90 if you're watching mine I think I started with 90 and then I went to 110 and now I'm on 120 um, yeah but you can see that by looking through the videos uh, you can set the FPS so generally I would set it to 60 I have it set to 60 um, I think it defaults at 45, um, but I set it to 60 because most videos 60, 60 FPS. You can set it higher, you could set it to 90 or 120, um, so yeah, you can just change that setting. Um, you can set the bitrate to whatever you like, um, although I found I was trying to push the bitrate as high as possible. Um, and I was running into some issues with really high bitrate and trying to record 4K. Um, so some maps were okay, but some maps, if it was sort of really, a really intense map and I had like Ike tweaks maxed out 4K and I had like 2000 uh, megabits per second bitrate, sometimes it would crash through a render. But most people, you aren't going to be trying to do the stupid things I'm doing. Um, so yeah, but bit rare, you can change to what you like. Uh, and then the other options are width and height. Um, this is just the, basically the resolution. So you would set, say if you wanted to do 4K, you would do a 3840 width by 2160 height. It's 4K. Or standard HD would be 1920 width, 1080 height. So yeah, those are the main settings. Um, and then there are also some other settings within the files you can adjust, um, which would let you enable the real distortion walls you saw, and the shockwave effects, and the higher resolution reflections. Um, but yeah, uh, if you, at the moment, if you decide to sign up to the uh, to Hemwell's patron um, to get access, there's plenty of people on the private Discord that will be able to sort of guide you through um, enabling those settings because again, it's not very user friendly at the moment. You do have to sort of edit um, configuration files um, and sort of, you know, pull them off with side quest, edit the files, then put them back on. So I'm just trying to sort of let people know that this is what it's like at the moment. I don't want people jumping in and signing up for early access and being like, wow, this is a massive pain in the ass. Um, so anyway, um, if you do decide you want early access still, um, I'll post a link in the description for Hemelot's patron. Um, you would need to subscribe to the third level um, which I think is called partial patron. Uh, for me, that's in my country. It's showing well, UK. It's showing um, eight pound per month. Um, yeah, I don't. I think it might be ten dollars uh, in the US. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, but that's in the description. Um, and just to be clear, to use the. Um, to edit the renders to, to get a working video file afterwards, you will need a computer. Like you can't play the file until it's been encoded on a computer. Um, uh, what next? I asked Henwell if he wanted to um, give a little quote, like a direct quote straight from the horse's mouth. And so you can see that on screen now. Uh, yeah, so that's what he had to say. Um, I'll leave leave it at that. And uh, some final thoughts. Um, I just hope hope this was helpful and shed a bit of light for people on this. Um, uh, yeah, the render mod. I mean, I absolutely love it, and it makes videos amazing. Honestly, it, it makes them look so much like PC like I've had some people commenting thinking that it was PC um, or people questioning if I'm 
doing this recording it on the computer somehow and you know it's not actually done on the quest but I assure you apart from the the final processing of the file like merging the audio and, and video together everything is done directly on the headset so it's really really cool what Henwell's done here it still blows my mind um, what can I, say, can I say the final version Hemwell has promised will be much 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 more user friendly um, so if you're thinking oh, editing encoding what's all that I would probably just chill and wait for the final version to be released although I don't think that will be for a while going by what Hemwell's uh, said um, and yeah, if you do decide to get the early access, um, you will need some sort of knowledge of FFmpeg. That's what Hemwell's recommending um, people to use. But as I say, I use Handbrake. Um, but my process is a little different. I will probably be, I might make a little video, uh, an unlisted video for the private server of how I use uh, Handbrake and the way I do it because um, it's a Hambrick's GUI is, is visible, whereas FFmpeg is all um, sort of code based. So Hambrick's a little bit easier for people, you know, uh, visually. Um, but if you're happy just using FFmpeg, they everyone over on the Discord, they all know how to do it and they can talk you through it. So it's not too big of a deal. And once you do know the process and you've done it a few times, it's pretty simple. Um, so yeah, that's all from me for this video, and as always, thanks for watching.